Welcome back to my channel on Trying with Tay. In this series, we're going to try Isogenics. So um, again, if anybody's been following me on Instagram, you know about my weight loss, um, my challenges, my program, what I'm doing this for, um, and why I started. So it's ongoing and continuing. And because I'm in this 75-day um, challenge, I just wanted to kick it up a notch. And so today I'm trying Isogenic Shakes. It's an 11-day program. Um, <clears throat> where you do shakes and meals so I've done this before with like um, with other programs but I really like the community at Isogenics um, I really like this ER shirt program and so I'm working with Rick and Natasha as my coaches I will link them you can check them out on Instagram you can follow to see if um, this is something you would enjoy so first steps are weighing yourself so you weigh yourself and you measure in the morning before you start um, I've already taken down my measurements but if you need to know um, I did neck arm thighs legs waist bust um, and hips so I did all those measurements wrote them down and I will be adding them to um, to this as well so you can see where I started um, follow me on Instagram my fitness pal here click like share um, just to share the journey or if you have any questions you can put them down in the comments and I'll link to everything that I'm doing so if you want to take part start your own program figure out how you want to do it but just to jump start your weight loss in 2021 um, get everything going so I will go ahead and weigh myself um, I do think I'm wearing too many clothes to do this and I might be a little bit disappointed because um, while I haven't been losing all the weight I wanted I've been gaining like uh, shaping toning being able to do things I couldn't do before so I'm really excited about that but it's Monday I normally weigh every Wednesday but let's see what the weekend has taught us and I won't tell you what I weigh but I will tell you if it's good or bad mm, the anxiety okay it's not bad it didn't change from when I did it last Wednesday but I got three days to get um, a different result so We'll go from there. Um, if anybody's curious, I'll put it down in the notes. I won't say it out loud, but I'll put it down in there so you can see where I start. Um, <clears throat> okay, so basically, I'm just going to mix a shake this morning. Um, I am doing the chocolate shake today, the Isoline chocolate shake. Um, then after this, there's supposed to be like a healthy snack, so you can do carrots and hummus, something like that. Um, drink your water, drink your coffee, no cream, no sugar. So you can do it with butter. If anybody is familiar with the keto butter, that's how you can do it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to just mix this. So you do eight ounces of um, room temperature water. They said, and I already made this um, a little bit room temperature. And I, it's filtered water because I have a filter on my sink. But you can use whatever water you want. Again, this is the Isoline chocolate shake, and it says two scoops of it. It does smell chocolatey. I don't want to waste any, but it comes with a little scoop so you can measure. And then I went to um, Bed Bath & Beyond and I just got a, blend, a little magic bullet, but you can find those anywhere. Um, I just had a coupon, so it worked out to be a good price. And then you blend. So it's all blended up. And you can just take it and put it into any shaker cup. When you order with them, they'll send you a nice little shaker cup, which I like. And then you wait. So you wait for this to work because um, <clears throat> you wait like 30 minutes for this to kind of do its thing. So if you want to blend this and drink your water. Uh, so you wait for this to blend up and you can um, find other videos with the actual teachers who explain why you wait for this. But basically it's so to, that you get your full benefits of it. So these little bit of bubbles come up first and then you give it 30 minutes to um, 
get more bubbles then you can add like your ice or put it in the fridge to be cold and then drink it so in between this you would just drink your water or your coffee um, whatever you're doing that morning to get your fluids in so I'm just gonna give this a minute I made another one and you can see it's ready by the bubbles in the top so that was the instructions you can see the chocolate one um, but I just made a vanilla one also because you can see it better and then you just add ice to this to get it to cool or you could drink it warm it's up to you apparently I'm gonna add ice to mine and shake again and then I will give a taste test so you can see it's actually kind of changed the color too It's creamy. I would say it's very light on the chocolate. It's not as thick and chocolatey as I would have liked it. Um, which chocolate did I use? Natural chocolate. <clears throat> so they have other flavors. So I might try a a dark or a um. They have specialty flavors that come out throughout the month. So I'm interested to try the French vanilla next. So I'll do that one for lunch. Not bad, not too sweet, not too bitter. It doesn't make you go, ah, like some protein shakes do. So, so far chocolate good. And um, I'll let you know how the vanilla tastes when I try later. And here's the French vanilla. Just going to taste it. It doesn't really have a flavor to me. If I wasn't just doing the ER shred. I would add fruit to this. But the ER shred is no fruit for right now. For the first 11 days. So I will. Um, I'll probably test this out again. It doesn't have a flavor to me. Or maybe just the chocolate is still there but um it's not bad again it's not sweet like super sweet overly sweet or anything but this is the french vanilla so if you want something a little more plain it's like to me it tastes like you could build off this like if you wanted to get fancy with it um i heard somebody makes pancakes with it things like that um so if you want to get creative with how you do your protein shakes then this would probably be the the flavor to get so that you can um build off the flavor with it if that makes sense so that's it for me um for the first day day one and see you guys um maybe midway and then towards the end